Good day everyone, my name is Ruta and welcome back to my channel and to more Skyrim. I'm literally where I left off previously, mainly, because I really wanted to read this love letter. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's see. Ooh, it's to Vex. Vex, give an old man a chance, why don't you? I know you may have a few years under my belt, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Believe me, I can show you a thing or two. Quit playing hard to get. I saw how you blushed when Dirge started reading from the lusty Argonian maid. You're a firebrand and we all know it. Take me up on my offer and stop playing the tough girl. We all know the toughest ones are the softest on the inside. They'll... Yeah, he probably... To be completely honest, he probably shouldn't have left this here. It would be fun if there was a quest, you know, where you could <laughs> give it to her. Because I feel like if she read that letter... She would probably kill Delvin, you know, I'ma be honest. I, I feel like she doesn't like him um, at all. So, let's see, journal. We're supposed to meet uh, Mercer Frey at Snowvale Sanctum. And we shall do that, of course. But first, I feel like I have to stop by a few cities to get rid of uh, the junk that I own. Because I haven't done it and you know me. <laughs> Uh, I get over encumbered and then I have to throw away things. Plus I really wanted to enchant that mask, so... Uh, yeah, probably like half of the YouTubers say uh, with the magic of editing, uh, I will meet you all near the Sanctum. Okay, so I'm not quite near uh, Snowvale Sanctum, obviously. I need to get him a horse. Wait a second, and then talk to him. Uh, so yeah, there's... Uh, I want to talk about something, and that sounds kind of important, I guess, but it's not. So basically, I've ordered a... Well, I guess I should speak with him first. Yes, why? Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. Maybe you should give it a look over. I'm anyway, sure. What did you want to talk about? Yeah, as I was saying, I ordered a webcam. And I'm thinking of doing other Let's Plays with it, but I don't know if I should use a face cam for Skyrim. So, to those who watch these videos, uh, I'm interested in what you think. If I should do it or if I shouldn't do it. Now, let's see. Uh, how do I... No, not that. Outfit inventory. Of course. What do you want to know? Um. Yeah, I'll have All to look right. into it. I don't know why. I thought it was I through dialogue. Like this snow as much as I do. Well, I guess. I mean, okay. in Let real life, I live in a country where, where there's snow almost all year round. <laughs> kind of. Uh, so why did I... Um, I didn't want to change it. I probably accidentally pressed it. Oh, it's Lucian's horse. I probably should give him something different, actually. Falkreath's comparison. Sure. That's my horse. So yeah. I'm interested about thoughts about the webcam thing, and there's nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Snowville Sanctum shouldn't be too far um, from here. Now, I don't know if I should leave my companions um, behind, or sh should I take them with me? Because, again, usually I would play Skyrim... Without any companions, probably one at most, I don't know. This is the most that I <laughs> have used them, so I'm not quite sure. Okay, where is it? I know it's close, or at least it should be. Um, why the hell did I ride past it? I fu- 
Oh my god, do I seriously have another quest active that was show- Tanelia, I'm not interested in- <laughs> I'm not interested in changing our- I mean, I don't even have the Thieves Guild armor in my inventory, so I don't know how I would exchange uh, that stuff with her. What's this? A shrine to- Not Talos, that's Julianos, I think. I'm interested. Let me check. Oh, it's RK. Oh. What the hell is happening? A oh, wisp mother. What are you doing here? My god, she's... Could you stop moving? Yeah. Let me use fire on her. Pretty lady. Shame she is such a witch. Oh god. Is she dead? I'll take everything. I guess I should use this if I have any diseases. Probably shouldn't be stealing stuff, but... That's life, I have to... You know... <laughs> I have to do it. I'm a thief. Okay, I'll just go on foot. Because I am really close to it. I should actually um, heal myself. Why not? Might as well. Oh, hello! Oh, and I need to charge my weapon. Let's see. Pity. Lesser. And... This one. That one. Basically, the weaker ones first. Well, not the weaker ones, the ones that have less soul in them. If that sounds right. Oh, I see a dead horse. Horse. Okay. He <laughs> Can somebody tell me why? A horse has 50 septums, a potion of water breathing, and a potion of two shot. Now, I feel like I'm probably rummaging through its you know, pouch, but like it still feels like I'm taking it out of the horse itself. <laughs> so that's just weird, but... Hello, Mercer, I'm here. Good. You're finally here. Well, you don't seem happy I've to see me. I've the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. Oh yeah, I she saw won't it. Be using it to escape. Well, that's an awful Let's thing to moving. do. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. I don't know, Take would have lead. taken the horse somewhere and maybe have hidden it, I don't know. You want me to lead? I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Yeah, I feel like you want me to step on traps first and whatever. Understood. Just make certain you keep your I don't eyes like open. Him. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. How did Gallus die? 25 years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. And you survived? Interesting. So Carlia took on both of you, alone. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. What happened after Gallus died? 
the guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. And you were a part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Tell me about Carlia. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So they had a relationship? If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last <clears throat> breath. Isn't murder Dark Brotherhood territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Interesting. Well, I am part of the Dark Brotherhood, I guess, but... Uh, let me equip my... Should I equip my mask? Uh, sure. Shot. Oh, I forgot to enchant the... F anyway, doesn't matter. I don't know, he's... Mercer seems really shady to me. I'll just say that. Apples... Garlic. Although I could take the garlic, because I feel like... Yeah, I can use it for potions. Well, I don't have a key. Mercer, where the hell are you? Could you help me out? Do you have the key to this place? Don't be looking at me like that. All high up and, and annoyed and... Yeah, I cannot pick the lock. I am too dumb, apparently. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Oh, really? Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. Well then. That should do it. If you don't have the skill and know-how, you won't pick the lock. He's too smart. Or at least he acts like that. I don't like him if you can't tell. <laughs> at all. I don't know, he's very... I don't even know what to call him, but... Not the type of person I would... Would like... To have as a... Teammate or friend, I guess? What do we have here? Nordic Barnacle Cluster... You Aren't they usually underwater? I don't know. Stench. Death. Be on your guard. Well, I am. I'm assuming Drugger will be in here. Because, you know. What do we have? Might as well loot this place. A dwarf and sword. Now, filled soul gems. I. Your blood will adorn my blade. <laughs> Jeez, Mercer. I'll pull this. What do we have over here? A few potions and some gold. Nothing behind that, probably. 
Unless there's something hidden and there's some... There's a chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Yeah. Like sure. Reset all of the traps. Well, I mean, Mercer, of course she did that, because, you know, she most likely wants first... Uh, I am going to chop you, because I know you're going to stand up. That was too much fire, my computer lagged a bit. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm safe. But Lucian had a good question actually. When you kill a jogger, do they come back the from the dead? Because they're already dead, I guess. But or do they stay like that, you know? I mean, then again, not every jogger does stand up and attack you, you know? Oh, hell. <laughs> my god, I did not like that. Oh my god, I am going to full through that him as well. Where is he? Did you like that? Wait, oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot. Who is shooting so much fire magic that my computer is lagging? Which one of you? I'm assuming Lucian. Okay, he has ebony arrows and an ebony bow. Let's see. They're barely doing any damage to me, guess. So your Fusero does are weak. I'm not even flying away. Okay, okay, it ended. That was a lot of enemies. Although I hear more, so I don't know how to react. <laughs> Some fine luck picking, friend. Why do I always check empty urns and whatever? Like I can read that they're empty, but I still open them. Oh, there's more enemies, oh, of course. Usually I would snipe them from that point, because you can do that behind those bars. Honestly, I feel like we've woken up every single enemy possible, so... Why can't I shout? Did we do it? I don't know. Oh shit. What the hell is happening? At least my two handed is increasing. Somebody just flew so Is that Sarana doing that? Like I don't know what kind of magic she uses, but like everybody flies away when she hits them. <laughs> She's overpowered. 
Yet she's sick. Can vampires get sick even? I don't even know. Apparently, since, since she's sick. Ah, Snowville Sanctum. Is, is, is this a location where she's hiding? You know, the final chamber? No. Show yourself. Not yet. Yeah, I kind of miss my uh, one-handed sword now because it's faster than this one. I swear to God, when I raise my two-handed to 100, I'll go back to, to a one-handed weapon, I guess. You did pretty good out there. Nice work. Oh. That will be my triumph. worth my time. Oh, Death Lord. Come on, die. That wasn't a fight, it was an execution. I feel like they have good items, but shitty items as well. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, an ebony battle axe is awesome, but like, it's useless to me right now. I kind of wish they had more gold. Come on, I'll kill you, as I know you're alive. Oh, that's Lucia. What the fuck? Oh, he's dead. I mean, I have too many people in my team, <laughs> I feel like. If it if Mercer wasn't here, it would be different. So, what you say? Oh, ow, ow. No one here now. Who fell down? Lucian, of course he did. Okay, where's the? What the hell? Oh, it closes. <laughs> the thing. I hate oh, who pushed me? The hell just happened. And I got injured as well. Whoop. Oh. I should use this often. Because it's a good spell and I need to raise its skill tree as well, so... Oh god, where to start first? Um, I'll follow Mercer, I guess. Oh! <laughs> what the? A dragon priest? Really? Did not expect that, I have to admit. Oh, I can't Fusur that I used it recently. Ha! Although he's not that strong, I would say. Well, uh, what I mean is that he doesn't have as much health. I don't know how to explain it. He's doing nothing, so... He's probably tired of living. He wants to die. I cannot reach him. Let's see. Oh, a cloak! How does the cloak look actually? Um, first of all, I have the. Don't even know what kind of cloak I have, but. Dragon Priest. I don't like it. <laughs> it reminds me of. Um, the Greybeard's cloak that you can find, and I also don't like that one. And I need to recharge. I qu quite honestly, I feel like I should give names to my swords when I enchant them. And usually I would, so I don't know why I'm not doing that now. Now oh, then, what do we have here? Ice and Chitin. Light armor increased. 
let's learn this word. Oh, disarm. I mean, I feel like this could be a good uh, shout actually to use. Especially if you max it out. A uh, Cyrodiilic plate armor, nope. Okay, now which way am I supposed to go? That way, so I think I have to go here. And I should say... Well, this is a bit tricky. So I don't have a claw. What kind of claw does it need? Doesn't even say. Well, any input on this? Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Okay. Oh, the hell? This place does not seem practical. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Nigo. I just got shot by a poisoned arrow and he's like, this place does not seem practical. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still, still be alive. Gallus I mean, had his wealth and he had you. All. all he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Okay. Oh, she disappeared. Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. You son of a... You just had to betray me, didn't you? And he stabbed me. What the hell are my followers doing? They could have picked me up and carried me somewhere safe. No, they're like, disappeared. I don't know. <sighs> the betrayal. No. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Hold on, you shot me. No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh, something's fighting something. Why save me? My original oh my god, this is so chaotic. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way and prevented you death. Then I'm in your death? More than you ever realized. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had was to capture. 
capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus' remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again. Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Thank you for the potions, I guess. Started hard answers. Speak with Anthea. I must not, okay. Why then? Oh, they defeated the enemies. Cool. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Might not have a choice next time. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Tell me about Gallus. He was a scholar, a master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales. And honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. You loved him. You were lovers? Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. Well... I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay. Remember. Oh, this is a, such a beautiful Just background, moment. actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, Serana. Let's see hard answers. Carlia believes the only proof that could expose Mercer's treachery can be found within the pages of Gallus's journal, which she recovered from Snowvale Sanctum. Unfortunately, the journal is written in some sort of code that needs to be deciphered. Our only hope is Anthea, one of Carlyle and Gallus's former acquaintances, who is a wizard at the College of Winterhold. Well, I guess we're ho heading to Winterhold. H he's in the city? That's strange. I thought he would be, well, in the actual college. Huh. And we're here. He's in the inn, actually. Interesting. Was he thrown out of the college? Maybe. He probably did something. <laughs> or maybe he just likes visiting the inn, I guess. That's also a possibility. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. On business. Yes, yes. What is it? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate that? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Oh, Markarth. 
To be completely honest, I detest going there, but don't really have a choice. Maybe I'll be able to persuade him. Oh, I forgot I have uh, the mask. What's it called? That mask helmet thing, which basically allows me to persuade anyone, I think, right? Well, so I should put it on and actually use it. Why did I forget what it's called? No, <laughs> Okay, we're here. Inigo's regard for you has increased. Nice. They're liking me more and more every day. Awesome. Oh, the mask of Clavicus Vile. I remembered. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so dark in here. How do they uh, live in this castle? You know what I mean? Like... The Jarl stays here every single day, of the whole day basically, and this guy does his experimentations or whatever, just finds stuff and I don't know, anyway, but they live in darkness like Falmer. Bless you, Sarana. Okay, first of all, let me equip that before I forget it. have so many items. <laughs> Mask of Clavicus, let's see him, right? Uh, almost all, okay, let's try it out. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Excavation site? Le Chouenzel? The ruins underneath Markov? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? I hear you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous! That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. I'm trying to be nice with be to you, jeez. allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Come on, pretty please. But I'm a great admirer of your work. What kind of a mentor would I be if I denied a potential student a glimpse of his master's ingenuity? Here, this key will provide access to my museum. Feel free to browse for as long as you wish. Nice. However, I must insist that my laboratory remains strictly off limits. Okay, so I can enter the museum, but I have to enter the laboratory, I think, so... We shall see what will happen. Again, I feel like I should leave my followers. <laughs> should I? Nah, I'm gonna take them. What will happen will happen. Halt. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. I got permission. The, why can't I say it? Who's the court wizard? Gyalsimu. He's a Yarl's magical advisor, but he spends most of his time studying the ruins. If you want in, Kjalsuma has to give his say-so. He's usually in front of Nishuan Cell, just down the tunnel. Well, I already have you permission. See the yard. No anyway, I am going to save. And I think I can just waltz in, right? Like, he gave me the key, so I don't see why not. Because, again, I feel like the guards might attack me and put me in, in prison. And I don't want that. By the way, there must be a dozen men up there. Yeah. Well, first and I'll try just walking. <laughs> if they don't attack me, then I'll just go. Said he needed every man well, they're not doing anything, so... There's a lot of things in here. But I have to... Oh, I'll take this. Okay, he's coming here. Oh! I don't think they'll see me. Oh, right. There we go. 
Yep, yep. There we go. Okay, everyone, let's be careful. I need to turn my light off. And you know what? Muffle. There we go. Equip my sword back. Again. I think there's mercenaries guarding this place. I went to steal this item, first of all. The spider control rod. Let's see. Uncle Cal Selmo got back from Mazinsha left today. Lots of artifacts this trip. He even brought me something, a spider that didn't completely shatter when the guards smashed it. He wants me to get it working again. My first big research project. Spider Centurion Research Week 1. I've reassembled the spider with spare parts from the museum. All the joints move, just not on their own. Uncle said the spider needed a control crystal. With the right electroharmonic signature. The guards are out looking for one now. Spider Centurion Research Week 2. After yesterday's incident, I assembled a staff to hold the crystal. It actually works. When you use the staff, it creates a beacon of some kind, and the spider just walks on over to it. Better yet, it doesn't attack everyone on sight now. Spider Centurion Research Week 3 Apparently it will still attack, just not on sight. During this morning's experiment, one of the newer guards was startled and drew his sword. And he was dead before anyone could react. Did it actually detect hostile intent? Well, probably. My god, this is long. Why did I start reading it? Week 4. Further testing confirms that the spider seems to detect the intent of its controller in some way. Last week it tried to defend me from a threat. This week I snapped at a guard who interrupted my latest test and it lashed out at him. Fascinating. Week 5. No one appreciates my work. Uncle Cal Salmo is buried in his Falmer research and doesn't have time to help me with the spider anymore. The guards are all afraid of it, so I keep telling them it's harmless as long as I keep it under control. Uh, but there have been too many accidents. They just don't believe me. I wanted to show the Jarl, but I can't seem to get the spider to leave the lab. It looks like its control crystal only works up here. Maybe if I can reattune the enchantment? Interesting. I must steal it. Why can't I? Okay. Ah, I would even say he's kind of cute. What do these valves do? Shoot arrows, apparently. Interesting. Oh, there's still guards here. Oh, no, wait. Wizard's guard. Oh, don't see me. Don't see us. Walk past us. Really? I would have preferred to not fight them. Who is he? Oh, city guard! It's not. You know what? I'm going to steal his armor set. Oh, and he has a unique sword. Somewhere. I'll display but it in not, my house to remember when I killed him. I am evil. <laughs> and what the hell? The boiling dog meat. That's disgusting, I think. I don't know what the hell is happening over there. Oh, he's fighting the spider. Die. Hurting my spider. This way, I'm assuming? Bard. I don't think I'll complete this in this episode. I'll try. 
but I'm not sure if I can do it. I probably wasn't supposed to go here. Oh, I'm in his laboratory. How the... What the hell? I thought it was in a... I mean, call me crazy, but... I guess... Oh, I have to go through here. I mean, it is barred, so I don't know. What the hell am I supposed to do? No. Nobody will help you and you will die in from them. Oh, this way. Well, so much for me being a thief. I feel like I'm the weakest thing in the thieves guild, considering I can barely sneak. Like the... <laughs> Carly is like... Not Carly, Einar, what's his name? Steal some stuff so I can translate things. Yeah, sure. Meanwhile, I'm killing everybody in here. Now, I know Kel Salmo's nephew or whatever is somewhere in here. I kind of don't want to kill him, but I might have to. I don't see any any enemies. From, on, I think he's down there. Let me see. No, don't tell Over me you saw me. Don't know what I did, but no, this can't be happening. run away, I can tar. Okay, I'll leave. Ah, I'm almost dead. Wait a second, there was an item. Hey, amigo. What's going on? How does it feel? Uh, being a vampire, I mean. You must be eaten. Oh, did he die? He died from the thing. <laughs> Poor Icantar. Well. What's his is now mine. I guess Cal Salmo will be sad. I They're all hurting. Usually, uh, I think he would come in with guards when you actually get the translation or whatever. So I don't know what will happen now. But... Oh man, again I skipped their dialogue, kind of. Not on purpose, I just, I'm really into the game and I forget they're talking. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, I need to go grab myself a roll of paper and some, char and some charcoal, because I know I'll, I'll need it. Okay, I am stealing charcoal, paper. What else do we have? Solid Dwemer with steel. Let me turn on the light for a bit. I think I already read that. Oh no! Huh. And I can level up. I'll do that later. Dwemer history. Okay, cool. I did it. Alright, men. Spread out. Search the tower. I'm going to sneak past them. Pedro, what Come on, they? everybody, let's wait here. What was that? Nobody! How do they hear me all of the time? Okay, I'm a run. Oh, it's on. 
Run! Run! Okay. They're still fighting. <laughs> They're still fighting. Um, wait, can I? Oh, I can wait, which means... No, I'm gonna do the uh, cool thing first of all, and then I'll uh, fast travel. There's a path. Haha! -ha! Hopefully I won't die! I'm alive, okay. Nice. Let's see. Return to Anthea. Okay, he's still in the and I think he lives there. I feel like the accommodations in the college would be better than in the end. No? And plus there's people who Welcome. hate the mages in this city, so... Because they think that they destroyed it or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Hello, hello, dear innkeeper, but I'm here on business again. Okay, where is Imar? Oh, and Carlia is here. Uh, shall I speak with you first? Yes. Back, eh? And how is our friend Caselmo? This should help translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. I'm sure. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. And Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls... An unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthia? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. <coughs> they respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Anthea. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Cool. Okay, then. Uh... If you have further need of me, you can find me in the college. <clears throat> I guess this is it for today. I will speak to Carly in the next episode then. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this one. Again, in the next one we will speak to her and continue. Uh, so yeah, please like and subscribe and follow me on my social media. If you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it a lot. And I shall see you all next time. I hope you have a very great day. Goodbye.